Hey there and welcome back. Camping season is upon us and soon tailgating season will be upon us as well. And we're all looking for ways to power all of our devices. Today I have the All Powers solar power generator along with two 200 watt solar panels. Let's get them unboxed and take a look at them. I'll start with the solar generator first, but I don't think there's going to be any surprises here. I'm not going to do an unboxing on this stuff, but just to let you know what comes in here, there's a little bag here. Inside of this, this is the connectors to allow you to connect more than one solar panel at once. And that means that the solar panels this is using are using the standard connectors. So glad to see that there's no proprietary connectors here. Underneath that, we have the solar generator. Looks like the cables are in this bag right here. And then possibly, looks like it comes with a cover, a soft cover for it. We'll look into that later. In the bag, there were cables so that you can plug it into the wall and you can also plug it into your car to charge it. These feel like nice, really thick cables, especially for this 12 volt cable. This at least feels like it has a really good thick wire gauge inside of it. And the ends of both of these cables are different. So potentially you could charge it very quickly using both your car and if you plug it into the wall and of course the solar panels as well to charge this up very quickly should you need to. Inside these boxes, these solar panels are very thin. So they're very lightweight. They're somewhat flexible. And this should make them easy to carry around. Here's both of the solar panels unboxed. You can see the cords come out of the face of the solar panels. And then it has these metal grommets around the perimeter of the panels, and that is to tie them up. Both panels came with a charging cord so that you can plug it into the solar generator. You will only use one of these, and that also means that the car charger, which uses the same port, cannot be used at the same time as the solar panels. But it did also come with these handy Velcro straps so that you can strap down the solar panel. And so you can tie these things down so they don't blow around in the wind, and you can get the perfect angle to get these in direct sunlight. Right now the sun is directly above me, and that's why I have them laying on the ground like this. Using the supply connectors, you can plug the solar panels into a parallel configuration. You could also daisy chain them together to connect them together in series, but I'm going to use the connectors and show you what that's like. Here is the panels connected together in parallel. The connectors are different for the positive and negative, so there's really no way that you can screw it up as long as on the side that takes two connectors, both of those are your solar panel. And then on the other side is your wire that goes to the solar generator. One thing that I am not a fan of is how short of a cable they give you. They should have given you an extension cable for this. You can get extension cables for these solar panel wires. So I will put a link in the description on where you can get those from Amazon. And I had to move the solar generator closer to the solar panels because this cord is so short. Before I plug in the solar panels, let's turn this on. It is hard to see the display out here in the sunlight. I can see it pretty easily with my bare eyes, but the camera was having trouble picking it up. We are at 72% charged right now. This is just straight out of the box. And of course we have zero input and zero watts output right now. Let's plug in the solar panels and see how much power we get from them. So the solar panels and the car charger plug in here. We'll plug in the panels and we'll watch our input starting to go up. These panels are 200 watts each and I have very good sunlight right now. There's no clouds in the sky. And we are charging the battery at 280 watts. I think that's a limitation on how quickly the battery itself can charge. If we plug in some devices, it might actually draw more from those solar panels. Let's take a look at the front of this thing real quick. We have four AC ports here. We have a 12 volt DC cigarette outlet here. A couple of USBs. These top USB-Cs are at 100 watts. And then there's 12 watts and 18 watts on these USB ports. On our AC ports, we can get 2000 watts combined through those with a maximum of 2400 watts of output. Let's start plugging some things in. I have my portable camping fridge sitting here in the back of my truck. So let's take the cable from that. I do have a long extension on it. Take this and get it plugged into the generator. 
I'll plug in my fridge to the 12 volt outlet and then we'll turn the DC power on here. Now we can see the fridge is drawing 23 watts of power. The battery on my phone is about dead, so let's plug it in as well. There we go, that is charging. The output is now up to 56, 57 watts. We're probably going to want some music while we're tailgating, so let's plug in the radio. Need to turn on the AC ports. And I also have this little ice maker. You plug that in. I'll leave a Amazon link to this in the description as well. I like this little ice maker. It makes ice very quickly and it's pretty efficient. I put some water in the ice maker. Let's turn it on. You can see the water flowing back there now. The compressor on the ice maker just clicked on. Went up to 300 watts temporarily. And right now we're using 200 watts, but we're gaining almost 300 watts from our solar panels. So that means that we are producing way more power than we need to run all of these things. With our excess power, we can charge the battery all the way up. That way when it gets darker out or it's nighttime, we still have the power to keep the party going. I'm going to let all of this run for a little bit. We'll see if we get some ice made and we'll see how much we've charged up our solar generator. And I'll check back in 10 or 15 minutes. And grab a cold iced tea out of the fridge. Even though this iced tea was chilled down by the fridge, it'd still be nice to have some ice with it. Well, looks like the ice maker has made me some ice. It only takes a few minutes with this thing before ice starts to pop out. So now I have some ice for my tea. Let's take a look at our levels. I can hear the compressor on the ice maker running right now. So we are using 173 watts right now. It does cycle on and off. So this is the most amount of power that we are going to be using. Let's check on my phone. My phone is only half charged, so it is still charging. And of course it's running the fridge and we are now up to 77% battery on the solar generator. And here's the soft case on the solar generator. This is just held on with Velcro. So you may not want to throw this in the back of your pickup. It still might be susceptible to the elements. There is one zipper on this side. Not really sure why. I suppose that you could pull it open and plug things in, but I don't think you'd want to do that with the soft case on it because it would not get the proper airflow to keep itself cool. So I would consider this case more for just keeping the dust off of it in storage rather than a travel case that is going to help it from getting damaged. The solar generator also has a Bluetooth app which tells you basic information such as how long it's going to run, how much power you're taking in and using, and you can turn on and off the AC and DC outputs from here. If you're like me and you had trouble pairing this, the Bluetooth icon is here underneath the DC. So if you hold that down and you hear a beep, it will turn your Bluetooth on and off. So it took me a little bit reading the manual, trying to figure that out. And Bluetooth is on from default. So unless you messed it up like I did, you may not have that problem. I think this was a pretty successful setup. The only thing that I'm disappointed in is that it did not come with a longer cable to reach between the solar panels and the solar generator. This solar generator with the two 200 watt panels are for sale right now on the internet for $1,200. This is a lot cheaper than some of the alternatives, which are well over $4,000. That's gonna be it for today with the all power solar generator and solar panels. Now I have a good portable power source. And I should mention in case it wasn't clear, you can just take one of these solar panels with you and use just one single one. You don't have to take both at the same time if you don't want to. And with that, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching.